What's going on guys? Crazy Clips here and let me not waste too much of your time. So you want to do a slow and reverb effect in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so I will go through all the steps I did to get to this point. And uh, so let's get right into it. So you want uh, the prerequisites would be to have a YouTube to MP3 converter on hand and a GIF to MP4 converter, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So like, let's say you want to slow and reverb a song, right? You'd uh, just search it up. Um, I don't know. What is it? Uh, let's say like Sorry by Justin Bieber. You just... Um, copy the link and then just put it into mp3 and then uh, download it into resolve it because uh you know you can't just directly transfer it over so yeah you have it downloaded and then uh, you eventually get to the point where it's in downloads and then uh, you import it over like let's like this song, these songs, sure. Okay, so that's how you import the song. Now to import the GIF. So unlike Premiere and some of the other tutorials I saw, you can actually um, directly download a GIF. Like let's say uh, GIF. So let's say this GIF, right? Uh, save image as downloads. Uh, let's try importing it. As you can see, it doesn't work. It doesn't let you um, import it. So what we need to do is uh, put that into this converter to make it an MP4. So upload. Convert GIF to MP4 and then save. And then now, there you go, you can uh, import it. So uh, I'm just going to use the old one as reference and then uh, compare it to the new one. So, all right. So this is how the old one sounds. And this is without any effects. Alright. So the first effect we need to use to get to this is uh, we need to change the, the clip speed. Change clip speed. I prefer like doing in the 80s or 90s, so I just do 85. That's what I did for the other one. And then turn off pitch correction, otherwise it won't like it won't um, adjust, change the pitch because of the different speeds. Because like the slower your speed, the the lower the overall pitches will be, and then the higher your speed, it'll sound more like you know chipmunk status. So yeah. So now. Um, so yeah, you see it's uh, dimmed it down a little bit. Now the other effect we have on here is uh, we we have um, we need to change the pitch. Like you can change the pitch if you want, or if you're happy with this, you can um, upload like that as well. So f go to audio effects and then go to pitch and then drag and drop on the audio you'd like to change. So let's let's go negative four and see how that sounds. Uh.
pictures of the sun. All right, and then the final effect you'd want you could ch you could always change that in effects like uh, if if you think it's too low you could bring it up to negative one or negative two and see how that sounds. It's a little higher pitch, yeah, as uh, you'd expect. So the final effect I used was, uh, what was the final effect I used? I used reverb. So let's, let's see the stock presets of the reverb. Okay, so it brings up this complicated display. So I'd X out for now. So don't be intimidated by it. So let's see how it sounds. All right, so it sounds like a party, right? It sounds like you're in a big room and then there's a DJ playing music. Well, if you want to mitigate that, you just lower all the dimensions of the room. Uh, room size. Let's see how that sounds. Huh? Little too big, so just keep just keep crunching in those values, so you get a sound that you're a little bit lower. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I think I made the room even smaller in that one, but. But, uh. Um, you basically keep messing with uh, the values till you get something you're happy with, and then to put in your GIF, uh, you just drag and drop, and then you just keep. Um, right. Control C, and then uh, you just keep Control Ving over all of your clip, and then um, that's how you do slow and reverb. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.